Hello? Hey, Kendra, how you doing? Good. What's your name, babe? My name is Chips. Your name is what? Chips, Chips. Chips, Chips. How old are you? I'm in my late teddies. How old are you? I'm Teddy. 38. Where are you calling me from? I'm calling from West Africa. West Africa. Okay, what do you do for a living, honey? I'm a motivational speaker. I'm a content creator. And I'm an entrepreneur. Okay, motivational speaker, um, entrepreneur. And what was the third thing? Co content creator. Content, 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 content creator. Con con content creator, content creator. Um, do you have any children? No, not yet. No children. Um, this is Chubbs. Ch say it again, Chibs? Chibs, yeah. Chibs. Chibs, West Africa. Um, 38, do you believe in zodiac signs? Libra. Libra. Um, he has no children. Um, entrepreneur, content creator, motivational speaker. What kind of woman are you looking for? Uh, the kind of woman I want is someone who's who is um maybe like someone who is um out humble, not necessarily submissive, but humble, like you want to help our people or something, maybe. Uh, and also a woman who who want, who who cares who is conscious of our health. I'm gonna want to help you. You want to walk out, take care of yourself, like exercise, eat right. I I'll always help you. You yeah, know, nobody's perfect, but like I said, it's only when you're not willing to do that. That's when it's like a deal breaker for me. Okay, so a, a person that wants to be in health. I mean, healthy. Pardon? You said someone that you can help. Yeah, yeah, a woman who's cautious, cautious for her health. Like she wants to take care of it. Like she walks out, she eats right, all those kind of stuff. Okay, that's what I think. Yeah. Okay, all right. What What are your deal breakers? Uh, uh my deal breakers. Um, um, uh, maybe like I would say, yeah, uh, the same thing I just I just emphasized on now. Those are my deal, and also a woman, um, like. I mentioned us one who's cautious of her health, uh, one um, who's generous, generous, like uh, I won't say submissive, but humble, humble, something like that. So uh, that's it. That's it. Okay. I, I'm not asking for too much. I'm not asking for too much, but these are these are some of the things I look out for because on the first date or second day, you could always tell. So you know, somebody who is humble is not arrogant. You see that? Yeah, something like that. Okay. Do you want her to be in West Africa? Well, any I'm flexible. I'm flexible. I could move anywhere. I could move anywhere. Uh, I start. Okay. Pardon? What countries have you visited? I visited the United Kingdom. I started in the United Kingdom. I visited the U.S. I visited China. I visited Dubai and Ghana. That's it. And that's it. They want to know part. Of what? What? They want to know what part of West Africa. You Nigeria. In? Nigeria. Nigeria. Okay. Yeah. Um, does a woman have to make a certain amount of money? Pardon? Does the woman have to make a certain amount of money? Well, you know, yeah, she, she, well, it, it depends. If she's making money, good. If she's not making, like in Africa, the tradition is like we the man of the house and something like that. But I'm not saying that I'm going to carry that tradition over. But like I said, if she's not making money, I can only support her as a mentor. Uh, oh, yeah, you could you could achieve your goals. You could achieve your dreams. But if she's making money, good. Well, that's good. That's a plus for us. Okay. They want me to ask, do you have the correct paperwork to live in America? I didn't get you, Kendra, sir. The um, cousins in the comments, some have asked me to ask you, do you have the proper paperwork to live in America? I, I, I don't understand that. I got to get it. The paperwork doesn't just come to you. You can work. I, I got a visa. I have an Amer At the moment, I got an American visa, but that that's no paperwork. I'm only entitled to stay. Let me ask you a question work. more directly since you're not understanding. Can you live in America right now if you wanted to? Um, not really, not really, yeah. Oh, not really, okay. So yeah. would you prefer a woman in a country that you can already live in? Well, I'm flexible anywhere. Probably from United Kingdom, from America, is all good. 
Yeah, because I'm flexible. I'm mobile. Yeah. I'm mobile. Can you live in the United Kingdom? Yeah, I lived in the United Kingdom for four years. Okay. Okay. Um, does a woman have to look a certain way? Uh, not really. But, you know, the beauty is attractive. You know, first and foremost, when you see a woman, what attracts you is, is her looks. I'm not saying that one man's meat is another man's poison. It's like, and they say beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So what I see as beautiful to me might not see it seem beautiful to someone else. But like I said, if I see someone, she has to be attractive to me first. Then before we take it to the next level, that's all. It's not like beauty doesn't count. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. That's it. What you see beautiful might not be beautiful to someone else. But yeah, that's it. Okay. Okay. Um, fair enough. Let's do the Kendra Cam. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We see you. <laughs> All right. When was your last relationship, babe? Yeah. Um, one and a half year ago. One and a half year ago. Okay. Um, one and a half year ago. What was the last time you was intimate with someone? Well, I prefer not to answer that. Okay, fair enough. What are three flaws you have to work on? Three flaws I need to work on? Mm, sometimes I might complain a lot. Not, not all the time. I'm working on that. I might. Not all the time. And I'm too nettish. Yeah, I could, I could afford to sit in the house for 24 hours working on something, maybe creating content or doing something. But like, it's not like I don't know how, how to catch fun, but like, I'm used to like, I could just think the hell doing something, reading or doing something like that. Then also I'm a perfectionist. I try to make things perfect. I know nobody's perfect, but like, I'm trying, I always try to make things perfect. That's it. And I'm, yeah. And also, I'm a kind of person that will also love to like express myself through singing. I sing to my, like, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a person that express myself through singing too, something like that. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. And Tibbs, could the woman have kids already? I know you have no children. Uh, maybe one, one or two might be okay. Not, not, just one or two. Maybe like deal breakers if three kids. One or two might be okay. One is the she best. Can three, two, she can have two kids. Three kids is the two. deal breaker. No, two, two. Yeah, three is the deal breaker. Sorry. Okay, so she can have two kids. Um, do you want kids yourself? Sure, why not? Okay, he does want kids. And what's the age range you would date? You're 38. I would date 26 to 35. 26 to 35. All right, so this is Chibs, West Africa. He's a motivational speaker, entrepreneur, content creator. No children. He's 38. Why would a woman be lucky to be with you? Yeah, because she's going to find solace. I'm going to give her solace. I'm like a mentor to her. She, she, if she has goals, and if she has goals, I will help her achieve those goals. Yeah, uh, she, 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 she's seen me as a mentor, and she's gonna find solace. I'm gonna, she's gonna find solace having her, having me as a man. So something like that. And I also sing for her if she wants. I always sing for her if she wants. Are you a I always, singer? <laughs> I always entertain. Her. I'll make her laugh. That's all. Are you a singer? Yeah, okay, I'm a content give, creator. Give us, so the give oh, us. Give us 20 seconds of you singing. Okay. Stick with you, pussycat doll. Oh. I don't want to go another day. So I'm telling you exactly what is on my mind. Seems like everybody's breaking up and throwing their love away. I know I gotta do things right here. That's what I said. Nobody gonna love me better. I'ma stick with you forever. Nobody gonna take me higher. I'ma stick with you. You know how to appreciate me. I'm gonna stick with you, my lady. Nobody ever made me feel this way. I must stick with you. I wanna go another day. Who told you you could sing? 
Pussycat dolls stick with you. Who told you you could sing? I used to be an aspiring actress younger days. My younger days, my teenagers, I Who used to sing. Who told you you could sing? <laughs> I could rap too if you want me to rap no, to you. No, no. <laughs> Who child? No, please don't. Please, please spare. Child, honey. How can, okay, how can women reach out to you again? Um, that's it on the handle, the official chips inspire. You could always reach me. I got a lot of content there. Yeah, I'll be following you, Kendra, too. You got look nice content, so I like it. So that's I, it. I, you're the you're you're the first live auto-tune singer I have ever met. I, I never heard anybody sing live in auto-tune. I, I was on your show on Monday. The girl there had a birthday. Uh, the girl, um, Southern something, she's Southern, I can't remember her name, but she was having a birthday. I was trying to come up to sing a dress song for you, say, yeah, something like that. So I reached out to her, the girl who, who was a school teacher. She was a school teacher or something like that, primary school teacher. Yeah, Southern, something like that, I can't remember. But she was having a birthday. So I was like, yeah, if I should sing, say out to her, she was going to like it. Baby, so, don't, baby, don't even, don't even sing happy birthday at birthday parties. When and when everybody's singing happy birthday, you just be quiet. You don't you don't gotta <laughs> participate. You don't you don't nope. Yeah. nope. Nope. I could rap next time. I could rap. Oh, we gotta go. Yeah. Bye, chess. Bye, 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 chess. Bye. Ooh, chat. Chat. Ooh, chat. You know. <laughs>